one of the major silent killers. The effective natural ways of lowering high blood pressure. More than 1.3 billion people around the world have hypertension and only about 20% of them have it well controlled. Hypertension is one of the major silent killers. So, early detection and management are crucial to preventing the development of serious complications, like heart attack and stroke. Before diving into natural ways of managing hypertension, it is better to first understand the autonomic nervous system and vagus nerve of the body. The autonomic nervous system is a part of the nervous system that controls involuntary bodily functions, such as heart rate, blood pressure, digestion, and respiration. It consists of two main branches, the sympathetic nervous system and the parasympathetic nervous system. The sympathetic nervous system is responsible for the fight or flight response, which is activated in response to stress or danger. When the system is activated, it causes an increase in heart rate, blood pressure, respiration and a decrease in digestion and other non-essential functions. Whereas, the parasympathetic nervous system is responsible for the rest and digest response, which is activated during periods of relaxation and rest. When this nervous system is activated, it causes a decrease in heart rate, blood pressure, and respiration, and an increase in digestion and other non-essential functions. The sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous systems work together to maintain a balance between the fight or flight and the rest and digest response. This balance is important for overall health and well-being, disruptions to this balance can contribute to a range of health problems. Vagus nerve which is the primary nerve of the parasympathetic nervous system plays a crucial role in regulating many bodily functions, including heart rate, blood pressure, breathing, and digestion. If you like the content, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing. Now, let's look at effective natural ways to lower high blood pressure. Vagal nerve stimulation. Increasing insulin sensitivity. Taking vitamin D3 with vitamin K2 taking magnesium and potassium, lowering chronic inflammation, avoiding chronic stress, reducing alcohol consumption and quitting smoking, drinking beetroot juice and isometric hand grip training. By stimulating the vagus nerve in the following ways, you can reduce heart rate and blood pressure, deep and slow breathing. During inhalation, sympathetic nervous system is activated, which increases heart rate, blood pressure and respiration. During exhalation, parasympathetic nervous system is activated, which reduces heart rate, blood pressure and respiration. At rest, a normal breathing rate is approximately between 12 to 16 breaths per minute. Take about 6 breaths over the course of a minute, where your exhalation should be longer and slower than inhalation. Do this for 5 to 10 minutes once or twice a day for at least 6 weeks. This technique not only reduces the blood pressure but also reduces anxiety and relieves stress by increasing heart rate variability. Heart rate variability is the measure of the variation in time between successive heartbeats. It is an important indicator of the autonomic nervous system function and overall health. Heart rate variability reflects the balance between the sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system. Singing, humming, and chanting. Studies have found that singing, humming, and chanting can increase heart rate variability. Higher heart rate variability has been found to be associated with reduced morbidity and mortality, and improved psychological well-being and quality of life. In addition, singing, humming, and chanting have been found to increase levels of nitric oxide in the body, which can help to relax blood vessels and improve blood flow. This can also contribute to lower blood pressure and improved cardiovascular health. Meditation Meditation reduces sympathetic activity and increases vagal modulation, by which it reduces heart rate and blood pressure. Meditation has also been shown to have other potential cardiovascular benefits, such as reducing inflammation and improving endothelial function, 
which is the ability of blood vessels to dilate and constrict as needed. Probiotics Studies have shown that certain strains of probiotics, such as Lactobacillus and Bifidobacterium can help to increase vagal tone by reducing inflammation, which has been linked to decreased vagal modulation. Probiotics may also help to improve gut-brain communication. The gut and the brain are connected through the vagus nerve, so improving gut health with probiotics can help to improve overall vagal tone. Omega-3 Fatty Acid Studies have shown that higher levels of omega-3 fatty acids in the diet are associated with increased vagal tone and higher heart rate variability. Omega-3 fatty acids also reduce inflammation and improve endothelial function. If you like the content, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing. Increasing Insulin Sensitivity Insulin resistance, enhanced vasoconstriction, pro-inflammation, increased sodium and water retention resulting in elevation of blood pressure. If you have insulin resistance or type 2 diabetes, to increase insulin sensitivity, eat low-carb, high healthy fat diet, along with intermittent fasting. This should be done in addition to other lifestyle changes like regular exercise, losing weight and getting enough sleep. Taking vitamin D3 with vitamin K2. Taking a combination of vitamin D3 and vitamin K2 help to reduce blood pressure. Vitamin D3 helps the body to absorb calcium, which is important for healthy bones, while vitamin K2 helps to direct the calcium to the bones and away from the arteries and other soft tissues, where it can contribute to health problems such as high blood pressure. Lowering Chronic Inflammation Inflammation is a natural response of the immune system to injury or infection, but when it becomes chronic, it can contribute to a range of diseases, including heart disease, high blood pressure, diabetes, and cancer. By taking low-carb, high healthy fat diet, omega-3 fatty acids, and avoiding vegetable oils which have omega-6 fatty acids, sugar, and refined grains, you can reduce chronic inflammation in the body. Taking Magnesium and Potassium Magnesium and potassium play a crucial role in regulating blood pressure by the following ways. Relaxation of blood vessels. Maintaining sodium-potassium balance. Reducing inflammation. Regulating the hormone aldosterone. Improving kidney functions and improving insulin sensitivity. Avoiding chronic stress. When an individual experiences chronic stress, their body's stress response is activated on a continuous basis, leading to the release of stress hormones such as cortisol and adrenaline. Over time this can lead to cardiovascular disease, high blood pressure, and weakened immune function. Chronic stress can also have negative effects on mental health, leading to anxiety, depression, and other mood disorders. Reducing alcohol consumption and quitting smoking. Alcohol is a vasodilator, meaning it causes blood vessels to widen, leading to a decrease in blood pressure. However, over time, this effect can cause damage to the blood vessels, leading to an increase in blood pressure. Smoking is a major risk factor for hypertension and related health problems. Nicotine in cigarettes increases sympathetic activity and causes blood vessels to constrict. Tar and other chemicals in cigarettes damages the walls of blood vessels, making them more susceptible to plaque buildup and narrowing, leading to an increase in blood pressure. Drinking raw beetroot juice. A randomized pilot study from 2016 found that the juice of both raw and cooked beets improved blood pressure. But raw beet juice had a greater impact on blood pressure. Beets are rich in dietary nitrates, a compound known to have blood pressure lowering effects. In a 2017 review, researchers found that these benefits were greater than the effects of nitrates alone, meaning, other heart-friendly compounds found in beets are likely at play as well. Isometric Hand Grip Training This involves squeezing a hand grip device about 30% of your maximum voluntary contraction and hold it for 2 minutes, then relax for 4 minutes. Repeat this for a total of 4 rounds, that is 8 minutes of exercise. Do it on your right hand twice and on left hand twice, three times per week and for at least six weeks.
Warning. If you are already on medication for high blood pressure and in addition implementing these natural ways, it may further reduce your blood pressure and make you feel dizzy or faint. So please do this under the supervision of your physician, so you may have your medications re-evaluated. Thank you for watching. Please check out the links in the description below for additional information and resources. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this in the future. Thanks again for tuning in.